Welcome back to Women's Strength and Bodybuilding. My name is Mark, and Ivy Ryan had a redemption and won the 2023 Texas Pro that just wrapped up this weekend. We'll go over all that and more in today's video. But before we begin, please like the video and subscribe. Leave a comment with your thoughts on the results of this show. Present at the 2023 Texas Pro this year was women's physique, wellness, figure, and bikini. Not on the docket this year was women's bodybuilding, perhaps because Texas likes their women big, but not too big, which is dumb. Freaking Texas, man. I'm telling you. So let's get into women's physique top five. Ivy came in first, and if you watched my video on the 2023 Tampa Pro, you know she came in second place at that show. Somebody left me a comment explaining that she wasn't happy with her placing, but it looks like she's definitely more than made up for it this time. So in my video about the 2023 Tampa Pro, I might have misspoke on some of my critiques, and I didn't really realize it till I saw this Instagram post where she compared her conditioning at the 2023 Tampa Pro to the 2022 Olympia. My feedback was that she wasn't quite as diced up, and I couldn't tell if it was because of the tan, but in this post, she said she is the same weight she was at the Olympia, which is crazy because it looks like she's added some size, but something was just off and it's so hard to tell based on these photos. But you take one look at her at the Texas Pro, and yeah, she definitely deserved to win. She's been hitting it hard, and it shows. Her back looked really full and pumped up, and it's always been one of her best features. Her tan definitely improved, but still not as good as the one she brought to the Olympia. She had a beautiful flair in her lats in the front poses, and can you guys guess what my feedback is on her appearance here? Surprisingly enough, it's just the midsection because her glutes and hams were on fire here. Even in the poses where she wasn't totally flexed, her conditioning still shined through, and you could really see the development she brought in one of the toughest areas for women to build in this sport. The only thing I'd say is getting the cuts in her midsection to come out a little bit more would really help her upper game. Ivy is definitely one of the prettier competitors, and I like her look. And I like that she used her disappointment from coming in second place at the Tampa Pro as an opportunity to really shine at the Texas Pro. So great job, Ivy. And best of luck on your way to the Olympia. In second place was Alyssa Kessling, or the classical queen, as she's known on Instagram. I first found out about her in 2021 when she won the New York Pro. Her conditioning was pretty close to what she brought at that show. She had a really wide lat spread, but wasn't really dialed in in terms of detail and conditioning in the back and glutes. At the 2021 New York Pro, her conditioning was really good. She had that shrink-wrapped look, almost like she was carved out of bronze. But all in all, I'd still say that this was a really good showing. I know from following her on Instagram that she dedicates her life to the game, and her hard work shows here. But what she was able to bring two years ago was really exciting, and it'd be tough for just about any one of today's competitors to beat that. I'm also a big fan of her doing most muscular poses, which might have hurt her placings here. I mean, it's getting to the point where a lot of ladies in bodybuilding don't even want to pose with closed fists in the compulsory poses and avoid most muscular poses altogether because it's seen as not very ladylike or feminine or some bullshit. So I'm really glad to see a physique competitor come in and blast her delts like this. It looks really good. And I wish there wasn't such a stigma about certain poses in the women's division. They deserve to flex and be evaluated the same way the men are, based on size and conditioning. So I say keep it up, Alyssa, and congratulations on your second place finish. In third place was CC Barba, and I don't know, man, she looked really good. Very competitive top three this year. I felt like her midsection had the most size and definition when she was able to control it properly. Her abs had that old school washboard aesthetic and really stood out in some poses. What a tough call, because she has all the markings of a great bodybuilder, but I'm not sure how that translates to physique, because in some of these poses, her abs have so much size that it'd be tough for anybody to keep their stomach flat, and maybe the judges didn't go for it, but this is one of those rare cases where she's got a full, developed six-pack of abs, and that's tough in general for women to have, and even tougher to maintain over the long haul. But she brought great size and thickness, but she just didn't have enough lines in the hamstrings to match Ivy and Alyssa. Either way, I thought she looked great, especially the size and vascularity in her biceps. So congrats to Cece coming in hot in third place. In fourth place was Sarah Bradley, and though I wasn't the biggest fan of her hairstyle, she too brought an extremely aesthetic midsection. Again, this is something you'd almost see in black and white. From a 90s muscle magazine, she's got some crazy serratus muscles. Check out the development in her midsection just overall. She's got a six pack that some men in classic physique might be envious of. She brought good size and thickness in the upper body, 
especially in the arms and shoulders, but even her development in the upper body and her textbook midsection wasn't enough to compensate for the lack of size and symmetry in the lower body. I guess it mattered at this show to the judges, but I still think she's got a great physique if she worked on her look a little bit more and applied the conditioning she has in her abs to her glutes and hamstrings. I'll bet she could crack the top three. Congrats, Sarah. In fifth place was Donna Jones, and this show was pretty crazy because the critiques and areas of improvement were kind of all over the place. If you watch my other videos, nine times out of ten it's the midsection and the glutes and hamstrings, but we've seen some great midsections at this show, as well as some really well developed glutes and hamstrings. Donna definitely hit in the glutes and hamstrings category, but needs to tighten up her midsection a little bit. I would also recommend adding more size. You see how thick Ivy and the rest of the top four looked in a lot of these posts? and it almost made me think that Donna was trying to bump up from figure to physique, which is a tough transition. She brought a great tan and good separation in most of these poses. So congrats to Donna for cracking the top five. So yeah, that's a wrap on the 2023 Texas Pro Women's Physique Division. This was an extremely competitive top five. And between all the competitors, we saw a lot of highlights that aren't really that common these days. If you made it this far in the video, thanks so much for watching. Your support means a lot to me. We'll go over wellness, figure and bikini in the next video. Please like the video. What did you think of some of these midsections? Let me know in the comments. The Olympia is getting closer and closer, so don't forget to subscribe for more great women's strength and bodybuilding content.